why do I keep seeing lemons? Does anybody know when it comes to the wives of world leaders, you keep finding lemons? Yes, I'm going to include the Duchess of Sussex in that. Because over the past year, we've seen the Duchess of Sussex in her Oscar de la Renta lemon dress. We've also seen Jill Biden, which seemed like she was given a... I'll say a sign of solidarity to the Duchess of Sussex by wearing her lemon dress. And then, of course, there is the wife of the Regent Prince of Liechtenstein. Sophie of Liechtenstein, Her Serene Highness, also has a lemon dress. Just kind of caught that the other day. So I'm just like, why do we keep seeing these lemons? Well, to find out, you have to go as far back as the late 14th 70s or early 1480s. It's a panel which is actually located at the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. Primavera. That's the Italian pronunciation. Primavera. <laughs> or is it Primavera? Primavera means spring. It's a large panel painting in tempora paint by the Italian Renaissance painter Sandro Botticelli. See, it's hard to stop doing that. Sandro Bolicelli. Um, made in the late 1470s or early 1480s. Dating may vary. It is, or should I say, it has been described as one of the most written about and most controversial paintings in the world. And also one of the most popular paintings in Western art. The painting depicts a group of figures from classical mythology in a garden. But no story has been found that brings this particular group together. Most critics agree that the painting is an allegory based on the lush growth of spring, but accounts of any precise meaning vary, though many involved in the Renaissance Neoplatonism, which then fashioned intellectual circles in Florence. The subject was first described as Primavera by art historian Giorgio Vasari, who saw it at a Villa Castello just outside of Florence in 1550. Why do I keep doing this Italian thing? I guess I just love that Italian accent. It is hot, isn't it? So the thing is, we don't know why the lemons. I mean, I guess it's just a really fun, cool pattern, but it's favored by Oscar de la Renta's designers because I think he passed away, didn't he? But anyway, um, it's a favorite pattern, and I guess it originated with Oscar de la Renta, I guess. But anyway, that style, they say, was inspired by that painting, which I think the actual painting is oranges and not lemons, but who knows. I think it's really cool, though. So you got the kind of aqua marine blue background, and then you have a field of uh, lemons in the foreground so pretty cool so when it comes to Sophie of Liechtenstein was that a subtle nod possibly I mean I hate to sound like one of the tabloids but she is a princess she is known as her serene highness that's how you style her name and well um, yeah I mean the actual hereditary prince of Liechtenstein is still alive but his son is serving as a regent and unfortunately, Princess Marie, uh, the princess consort, recently passed away. And so that's how I just happened to come across the lemon dress. So pretty cool. I just think it's really uh, nice that uh, the women of these world leaders and global influencers have found this dress. And um, let's see where it pops up next. One style is uh, has been called the... Citrus Primavera Jacques, no, I'm sorry, Jacquard, fit and flare dress. Whereas the other one has the peplum hemline. That's the one that the Duchess of Sussex has. So Jill Biden and the Serene Highness Sophie of Liechtenstein, they both have the fit and flared. You know, for um, so many occasions we have seen that people have somehow gravitated toward the Duchess of Sussex's fashion flair 
and her dressing for purpose. You know, that was something that has always been attributed to the royals is that they knew how to dress for purpose. Well, the Duchess of Sussex was doing that long before she married Prince Harry. She's always dressed for purpose. All, everything she's ever worn has had a purpose or a meaning, whether it's jewelry or, of course, her clothes or shoes. There's always a statement that's being made. So that's not only for the royals. There are other people who have done that in their private lives long before joining the firm. I'm just saying. Please like and share this uh, channel. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. And if you are interested in making some type of donation, there's a Patreon. There is the PayPal and the Cash App. But for the people who have supported this channel with their monthly um, subscriptions, yeah, with their monthly, I guess super chats is what you call it. I see, I don't even know, but whatever it is, <laughs> thank you, you guys. Uh, it definitely makes a difference. I appreciate all of the donations I have received, and also thank you again to the moderators. <laughs>